what I was actually thinking is uh, my uh, my background is actually coming from the as as uh, PBS I told actually they're coming from software engineering and uh, and the PBS presenter also talk about the artificial intelligence I think it was really uh, great uh, things to hear from a PBS presenter now this my topic is actually especially I'm now trying to understand as all of us know that the digital technology is actually doing a lot of things however what is the behind the scene? What is actually the opposite side at the moment that we, we may need to be think about for our next generation, especially when we are teaching in the classroom, how or what we need to be think about that, what is the wrong thing and what is the right thing happening, especially when you are thinking about the education, I think that is the most important part that we need to care about our, um, you know, curriculum content and whatever we are doing and what is happening in the real world. So, uh, Prop, can you go to the next slide, if you don't mind, just to uh, quickly, so because, uh, yeah. So, in this digital technology changing the world, obviously, I'm sure all of us, and especially uh, many presenter actually today touch with the technology and whatever subject and sector we are doing, I think we are all are under uh, these few topics that I'm putting in the screen now, like in business uh, disruption, as, as you understand that a lot of things happening, the Hoover, Airbnb, and uh, sort of thing are actually coming as a business disruption with the uh, big society, especially when you are looking at the uh, uh, the bigger bigger scale of economy in the society or in the country. Then integration and the cloud actually all are actually in the cloud computing. And if, if people are trying to integrate with the SMEs and business MNC to work together, however, uh, we still in the in the in the dark side that how much is actually uh, integration is happening with the small business and the the big uh, big companies, how they are actually uh, working together or they are actually killing each other. And you can see actually the one exa example, like in the most of the high state, there is a lot of big companies actually closing down. And the reason behind is actually not integration with the small companies because the globalization, because of the uh, 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 issues in the in the integration of the uh, both side of the companies as a small and bigger. Then we know the big data as it, a lot of people are actually having having a huge uh, issues or many countries is still not understood the how big data is working and what is the big data is actually important and what is the negative impact in the society or in the country with the big data then intelligence system as as you seen like an in artificial intelligence one of my colleague already like an uh, uh, earlier presenter especially emphasized the artificial intelligence ai but that is the, actually the something that a lot of people don't understand and a lot of people really need to be care about the ai uh, uh, whether it is system, whether it is an implementation, whether it is a, a, a you know implemented or doing going to be implemented, there is a lot of uh, backside or dark side is still in their artificial intelligence that we need to understood from the uh, academic side to the business side to the uh, policy maker. So I think that this conference, especially to see how the uh, intelligence system can be implemented in the education and the especially higher education, so then everybody can save and integrate it in the real world. Then Internet of Things is that now our life is actually totally complicated because of Internet of Things, because we are all in somehow uh, integrated to the system. Whether uh, you believe or not, whether we uh, thinking or not, I think we are all working with the uh, Internet, which is actually integrated our life uh, in the uh, Internet of Things. So anywhere we are going, anything we are seeing, I think we are all uh, in, in, in the integrated and we have to be very careful about the uh, with the negative side of Internet of Things and how it is actually destroy our uh, daily life or, or the monthly, weekly, even yearly. So you have to think about uh, feed forward for the next five years, how Internet of Things actually making our life more difficult. Uh, obviously, we are all are integrated with the system. We are all happy with the using those uh, artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things, uh, even whatever it is. But we have to think about how our impact, is, especially human impact, human interaction is actually need to be identified and making our relationship between a student and teacher or a business and uh, business and obviously customer or supplier and seller. So these are all actually need to be uh, carefully to analyze this, especially those people are or we are analyzing the data or doing some technology that how we can make our uh, digital changes in the real world. Uh, Prop, can you go to next slide, please? Mm -hmm. And then what is actually important? Why digitalization now coming? Obviously, if you look at the, as I said and earlier, like those five or six things really is they actually coming across the sector 
or the uh, academic world as as we are all sitting here mostly i do believe that we are all mostly in the academic world and we are trying to analyzing the uh, real scenario to giving the business world or the government so then can work together however the what is the negative side what is the negative impact i think we are not uh, many people or many researchers are thinking in that far so my intention is, as I said, I'm really doing some work with the uh, colleague and the, uh, especially the uh, year, year 20 to 30 years old people, how they can actually see the, the dark side of the technology, really. What is the negative impact? What this will be coming to the real world within a five years? And if we can, if we see the last five years in uh, intention and integration between COVID and obviously pre-COVID, post-COVID, and before COVID, we can see the change of uh, human intention, human life exchanges, business con condition, and the tension of the uh, uh, you know future understanding about the sustainability. I know there's a lot of uh, colleague. I saw the beginning some of uh, colleague or presenter actually talk about the. Uh, sustainability of the climate change and all sort of thing. I think in the inside the climate says whatever we are talking, we have to think about a digitalization. Like actually, how this digitalization is actually changing the world, and what is the impact of the globalization, and how this will be, uh, you know, impact in our life. And what is the when we say impact, actually, it is also going to be effect of our uh, next generation. The what is the you know dark side? How we can investigate in the negative impact. To the real world so that people can have the benefit of uh, of the education of the business and the uh, uh, making the policy for the next generation and um, prop next slide please so these are i'm going to ju jumping but if you look at the right hand side i put it like in 20 digital technology example however this is the positive side or whatever you're seeing so what is the negative thing what we can see those things if not working if not actually helping us mm -hmm. how we can do that uh, normal life so in the right side, you can see that we said the gather the data and the match uh, provision to needs of share with the others, monitor and evaluate and delivery uh, uh, digital scale. Now, if we can uh, check the next slide, prop, please go to the next slide as I have a less time. I want to show the, uh, no, go next one, please. If you don't mind, go next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is actually coming to the dark side framework. Like in, obviously, if you look at it here, like in in the in the very uh, inside of the uh, green one, uh, sorry, green one, or uh, the uh, where is the mouse? You can see foundation skill, especially uh, you can see. Sorry, uh, I think uh, you can see that four things in behind. One is the uh, communication. We are talking the handling information and content. We are talking transition, uh, transiting, and the problem solving. So. When we say dark side, actually, what we said, like in the outside circle, if you look the outside, be safe, legal, and the confidence online. That is, I think, the one of the things we have to be very much careful about uh, how we are safe in the online. Are we actually, whatever we are doing, are we a, in making ourselves in the safe side? Are we actually connecting with the wrong people? Or we are actually doing whatever we are in the somehow connecting our information, say, sharing our information is legally. And you know the GDP, GDPR obviously coming to in the UK and some of the European countries. I don't know most of the world probably not caring this GDPR as a data sharing and data uh, content. It will be coming in very soon or many, you know, many people I'm sure will be sued to each other, especially, you know, uh, lawmaker or law, or law firm are I think waiting for this thing that they will be talking about the uh, GDPR so they can, everybody can make their life in more, um, you know, uh, easy or making more complex complexity. So let's see what will be coming next two, three years. However, this framework is actually thinking to understand like in how we uh, communicate and how we actually sharing our work, what all sort of things, uh, problem we are solving by the technology, how the artificial intelligence, internet of thing, uh, you know, the um, all other technology that we are using that is help, helping us or not, and how we make ourselves more safe legally and uh, with the confidence. So these are actually thinking that uh, we mean the dark side, that we we need to care, we need to be sharing a lot of um, uh, information uh, in the future, but am I or am we understood that uh, what we are doing and how it will be creating uh, the uh, framework for, for everybody and especially for next generation as we are academic to teach in the uh, classroom. Uh, Prop, if you go to next slide, couple of slides, I know two minutes I will finish. So, 
If we look at that little bit, it was a dark implication of the digitalization for the individual organization and society, how it is actually affecting. Now, just one example, Facebook and Twitter in a lot of uh, information we are sharing. Sometimes it is actually uh, giving the psychological impact. Sometimes it is actually destroy the society, creating the un, 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 you know, uh, unreasonable uh, uh, issues or, or making the false statement and making the society ups and down, uprising, down, uh, downgrade of the people's life and sort of thing. So criticism is a lot of things there, especially Facebook and Twitter or Instagram, whatever you're doing. But we have to think about like how we actually getting those things in, in the first place to understand then what side of information and what we uh, need to do and what we need to care and, and not to do in the future. So that's is actually dark side we mean in, in the digital world. Uh, next slide, please, ma'am, or uh, prop. So changing world of work, obviously. Now, yes, we understood like, and if you look at the, uh, we all are, I mean, I mean the before and after COVID that working from home and working in the different the mode of our, uh, uh, you know, daily, daily activities. However, this uh, pattern is still need to understand that how much is actually a negative impact uh, to coming the, uh, this uh, workload or changing the work from. If you look at the one of the example, uh, used to be you have a, like in, a, you know, six hours work in office and people have a, you know, some meeting and you came to move one place to another place. But when you are doing as a online, uh, you are not actually moving anywhere. You are actually sitting in at, uh, eight hours in the computer and uh, your boss, your line manager, or we we can tracking that a person have a half an hour's break and this is fill up your uh, diary. So this is also in fact, and this is the dark side. Like, and we are thinking, yes, I'm working from home or working for office. We don't need to move anywhere. Like one of the example today, this conference, we are all in the different part of the world. The beauty is we are all in the sitting in a one place. That is a good thing. But if you look at the your workload allocation from your line manager, or if you if you are working in the big organization, and the people are just to catching you every minute, that uh, where are you? What are you doing? So this is actually the again negative impact for your life. Even a lot of people are becoming ill because of the transition and in, in the reflection of your uh, time load in the uh, workload. Sorry, workload in the system. So you cannot move anywhere. Uh, maybe sometimes you don't eat food also, you know, you are putting in the, in the camera off and you're listening and, and they're continuing your work. So these are all actually the dark side. How is it impacting? How is it negatively influence our life? Prop, uh, next slide, please. I think it's the last one, probably a finished one. Uh, that's fine. I don't want to talk because it's all impact on digitalization. Go to next one so I can finish the uh, No, last one, last, last one. I want to see the last finish here. Thank you. So, what I actually mean here, as as I just it was rushing for me, and uh, I think the audience may uh, get some uh, influence and getting some information that what we mean here actually my uh, my plan is to you know talking and writing a book, especially for dark side of the technology that how the negative impact and what what is the uh, uh, full pleasure of uh, technology that we are using at the moment and how it will be impacting and all negative uh, issues which can be identified and influenced for the next generation. So they can actually justify, they can evaluate, they can analyze, and they can use uh, which technology and how they can use for their uh, work and, and career. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, sorry you so for much. rushing. Thank you so much. Uh,